got back to the room, opened it up. The pizza, I'm pretty sure, was frozen. <gasps> I see green stuff already. I take it back. It's icy. <gasps> the cheapest I could find yesterday was eight euro, which is mental. Hi guys. Welcome to Vlogmas day one, which was not supposed to be this Paris vlog. But basically, I got the cocoa, and so I've been sleeping a lot in bed, yawning now apparently, <sighs> and haven't posted anything about Paris yet. So day one, might as well be, here's what happened in Paris, and then I will get back on track with actual Christmas stuff. Um, today is the final day of me not being able to go out or anything. So hopefully I will feel tons better tomorrow and actually be able to do Vlogmas properly. But in the meantime, here is what happened in Paris. Let's get a window in front of me. Bonjour, actually, I should say. I have touched down in Paris. Just got into my room. Haven't looked at the stuff that they've gifted yet. I am tired. Honestly, I am, I am second guessing whether I'm gonna go shopping today like I'd planned, but I will catch you up in a bit. Let's check these bits and pieces out. So I've got a Moxie Hotels bag tag. This bottle. Oh my goodness, it is beautiful. And I'm guessing it's hot or cold. Also, I mentioned in the other vlog, um, but in case you haven't seen that one. Can you pause a sec for this view? Um, these were gifted to me uh, because of my sister's connections. That is so cute. Um, wait, look, it's actually like pleathery. But I am under no obligation to post this. So I'm just disclosing it's gifted. Oh, this is great for my camera. Yes. And I have no clue what this is. It's a bottle cap, but like, for what? <laughs> I haven't decided if I'm gonna go to the shop. Um, it's that, so it's really close by. Um, I have some work to finish up on that I can basically either this evening I'll be by myself, my sister will be um, at work things. So I can either like take a lunch break now and go there and then work a bit later or I can work now and go there tomorrow, which I might do because I'm quite tired and the first thing I want to do is shower. I just put my head on gross airport thing so I want to shower and then I just feel like I want to just like spritz everything with sanitizer just for my own mental game because I'm flying back in this stuff on Friday and airport clothes are so mm, just so many germs <laughs> I don't know if that's weird I don't know if everyone else feels like that like the minute I get off the plane I'm like okay I'm ready to shower now like let me change clothes so that's plan of action for now. Shower and then reassess.
am back in the room. I'm going to just fix this little fringe and then I'm going to head across to Primark and Sephora and then depending on what like takeout places or restaurants are there let me just put you down a sec depending on what food options there are there I may get food there or I might just get like Uber Eats I haven't decided um, I am actually hungry now which is a bit of a problem but I think it's around six so if i eat now i'm gonna be so hungry later and i i had some snacks to take on the plane because okay so i might as well tell the story while i do my hair also i'm using the camera as a mirror um oh steaming i put um hair oil in because it was feeling so dry so the flight was delayed to 1 15 a.m and the lady at the bookstore said it could very well be delayed further so i was worried that some of the shops are going to close um and i was going to have no snacks so i went and got a bunch of snacks and then when we were on the plane i was next to a girl from belgium and she said she had wanted to taste biltong uh, I think I've explained it in tasting US snacks video. No, Australian snacks. So I gave her what I had bought and then also I gave her the chocolate that I had because chocolate in South Africa is a bit different. And so she had that. Um, she had also missed dinner, nighttime snack, um, early morning snack. She had slept through all of them. So I don't have that much to munch on now. And the flight did land up leaving at 1.15. Um, what was the point of the story? I'm hungry. That's the point. I'm gonna probably pack my backpack really quick and then take something to munch on while I walk. I'm not going to video while I walk because it's actually dark already and everyone says this area is fine but like nothing says tourist like walking around with the camera. So, and I also need directions because there's like, it says Primark is a 17 minute walk and Sephora is a 13 minute walk, but it looks to me like the lady downstairs said it's five minutes and it looks to me like there's different entrances. So I want to be able to figure that out. I don't want to be like holding the camera and all that. So I'm going to take you shopping with me in a little bit and then I'm going to carry on with some writing while I munch my dinner and probably watch... There's new selling sunset. I want to see that. Is there? I don't know why. My brain is foggy. I didn't sleep much. That's what my brain feels like. Just there. That's what my brain feels like. Exactly that. Before I go, if you are going to a high pickpocket area, okay, let's do this with one hand. Give me a sec. All right, if you're going to a high pickpocket area, get one of these and then you're going to essentially clip those two together and this thing is quite difficult to like fiddle with you would feel someone fiddling and also it just looks annoying so it decreases the chance of someone even trying just left Zara, just got a perfume, um, if you calculate like euros to rands it's, it works out quite pricey um, and same with Sephora, I looked at things and I was like mm. I mean none of it's a necessity, I'd rather like use the money on experiences than things. I'm gonna um, quickly pop into H&M now and then Primark, but I am completely overheating, so I might actually like buy a top and put it on in the in the bathrooms or something. This is so cute in H and M. I must apologise if the angles are weird. I've got this thing wrapped on my wrist in such a strange way. Um, I am heading to Primark. I have not been filming a lot. 
because, rookie error, um, I left the other battery at the hotel. I had it in my suitcase for safekeeping. Didn't charge this one properly. Obviously, I've been vlogging while I've been traveling. So it's not like dying, dying, but it might. So I just wanted to preemptively. Oh, I see Grinch stuff already. Oh. show you my proximity to the door. The door is there. I've gone three aisles and I'm overwhelmed. I want everything. I'm back at the hotel and uh, grabbed some KFC for dinner. I have to be honest, I have made this room a proper disastrous mess. I can't even actually like show you what's behind because it's it's insane. It's not, it's not okay. I'll probably spend some time sorting that out. I'm just trying to get the handle off this. Okay, I also don't know what exactly I ordered from KFC. So this is about as much a surprise for you as it is for me. Okay. Like a KFC unboxing. <laughs> I think it says one crispy wrap, and then what I don't know is the chips. <sighs> oh dear. Right, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sit on the floor, and I'm gonna put my food next to me, eat my dinner, and watch. Another episode of Twin Flames. If you haven't watched it, it's on... Oh, Escaping the Twin Flames. It's on Netflix. It's about a cult. Obviously, they deny it's a cult. I'm finding it really good. <laughs> Do you think I should be preparing for a messy meal? we got one, two, five, six, seven. Seven serviettes. I also tried to tell the guy that um, my French is weak and I didn't say it right and now I don't know what I said okay looks like the chips are normal they're skinny which is different to South Africa ours are more like Burger King I'd say all right so need salt but they're nice actually these are literally McDonald's chips in the KFC bag. Crispy wrap. That is wet. Oh, smells good. What is inside this? We got beetroot, lettuce. Can't see what else. I'll have to tell you as I discover it. Fun fact, this KFC, it came super fast. Like 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. But it cost 12 euro, I think. I got like three things at Primark for that same, like three things added up to 12. <laughs> when it went off my account, I was like, what? This same meal, just like, it was 280 Rand. This same meal is, I wanna say 80, 60 to 80. So more than half that. And it's the same thing. So that was a bit of a surprise because I thought KFC would be cheap. Anyway, I'm going to eat and then I'm going to do a little bit of a Primark haul because I want to wear the clothes as well. I am going to spray down my airport clothes that are currently like in the bathroom in the corner. So I'm probably just going to like sanitize these with the same spray and then I can wear them because like some of the stuff I need to wear quite urgently, I don't think I'd brought the appropriate clothing and some of it I'm gonna wear to Disney. I literally am gonna be Disney from head to toe, hopefully, if all goes according to plan. I'm gonna eat this and I will see you in a bit. I need to change batteries. Forgot about that. Good morning. It is Wednesday and my original plan was to go through 
to central Paris, do a river cruise, those touristy things. But I'm not confident enough to take public transport by myself because I saw that like some stations around can be a little bit dangerous and I don't know which ones they are. So I was looking at taking a cab. It was, I want to say 80 euros, like the same price as a Disney ticket. So it actually landed up being cheaper for me to forfeit the tickets I'd bought by like, the tickets were like more than a third, like below a third of the cost of the transport because that would be one way. So I could literally go to Disney twice for the price of going there and back. Whereas the tickets were like 20 euro combined, I think. So I cancelled those. I, I like forfeiting those. And I'm actually just going to take the day very, very chilled. I am tired. And I think it's that like travel slash end of year tired. I need to go back to Primark. I want to see. I didn't get to finish looking yesterday. I need to get gifts. I need to return some stuff and I need to find, <laughs> this is so random, I need to find deodorant. So I use Dove Roll-On sensitive because I have very sensitive skin and it's like two euro in South Africa. Like normal, like the cheapest I could find yesterday was eight euro, which is mental, but Primark might have something. So I need to get that. I've been using my sisters every year and there, but it's itching. So I don't want to walk around like the whole time. Sorry, I got distracted by a message that looked uh, like it needed a fairly urgent reply. So I didn't want to just ignore it. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm going to chill today. I have tidied the room a little bit. Housekeeping hasn't been through yet. So I'll show you after that uh, because there's like dirty dishes and things that I just don't. <laughs> I want to be in the filming and then I also want to make sure that anything that shouldn't be on YouTube isn't lying around like underwear etc like on top of the bags because I repack my bag roughly to like clothes and other stuff tomorrow morning we are checking out so I am going to have to pack my bags properly but I figured I would rather go shopping and then sort it out afterwards also not going to do the haul until I have got all the stuff I want to get I was going to do it this morning but then I decided I'm just going to have to do two so it makes more sense to do it at once. Also, you can see by how dark it is under here how tired I am. The other thing is I am going to need to wear some of the stuff in the meantime. I might also just do the haul when I get back. I haven't decided because I'm also going to be um, in Amsterdam Airport 4. Well, I'm going across to the hotel, but yesterday when I was rushing through... Their duty free looked really cool. So I want to check that out and then maybe I'll just do like a general haul of what I got. And other than that, I'll catch up with you later. I'll make sure my battery's charged this time to go to the shops. Hope I can gather up the courage because yesterday I felt so awkward trying to vlog in the mall. Like I didn't want people looking at me. I need to get over that. Like if I'm going to do YouTube. But that's just, that's a me problem. That's not a you problem. <laughs> just wanted to say it as well like in case you're wondering why at most points I didn't talk or anything I'm I think it's just because it's a different country and like when we were on the plane um the announcement person said please get the consent of everyone around you before you take pictures or videos and I was walking through the mall yesterday I was like uh am I supposed to do that in general like Am I allowed to film in public places? But I'm pretty sure I am because I've watched vlogs about Paris anyway. So I don't think that's a thing and I just need to get over it. So yeah, I'll catch up with you later. Bye! heading off to shop now. It kind of feels a bit chilly, like a little bit icy and people look like they're dressed very warmly but I'm not really cold. 
I have a warm top with me and obviously I'm going to swap some like sweaters at Primark so I'll be okay but it, it it's so weird because it's like it feels a bit like Cape Town spring to be honest like it's apparently nine degrees but it doesn't feel it it's like sunny and I'll show you now when I'm walking um, I just stopped outside so that I'm not like distracted by walking and talking at the same time and instead I'm distracted by cars <laughs> So there is the hotel. I take it back. It's icy. Oh, I wanted to stop and put the long shirt on under, but basically got like a little strappy top and it's just gonna be too freaking cold to take that off take off this um sweater and then put the other top on and then the sweater back on so i'm just gonna freeze my ass for a few steps <laughs> apologize um, I <laughs> did not vlog very much in Primark at all because I was trying to put together like a collection of Christmas shopping in Paris like the Christmas decorations and that sort of thing I'm hoping I I did take some other videos but in all honesty it was so it was a sensory overload and I actually just could not pick the camera up. I, like, I wanted to, but the bag that I had, because I needed to return things. Jeez, my nose is red. Anyway, the bag that I had, because I needed to return things, was so heavy. I was really struggling. And then there's no trolleys, so I had to carry the bag, like the shopping bag. And that was also heavy. There were so many people... You'll probably see in some of the videos walking through the mall, like at one point it was so packed that even if I pulled my camera out, all you'd see is a person's back. And in Primark, it was like National Screaming Child Day. Um, and like if you have ADHD or sensory processing, you know, you're neurodivergent, any of those, you know, like the bright lights of a mall is already enough to like it's like a shock and then the noise was just like it was a lot and I was trying to be very like meticulous like going through all the areas seeing if I could find Christmas presents and birthday presents and I was there I was there for over two hours and then I wanted to get a cool drink the vending machine wasn't working so I carried on like I was going to go back to the hotel and then I saw this other store. It's kind of like an everything store, like a department store. Went in there, I was pulling the trolley and I was on the phone to Vaughan so I didn't have hands really to vlog and I was just so overwhelmed and I was also really needing food so I'd hit that panic station point. Anyway, I ordered a pizza to be delivered from Uber Eats to get delivered to the hotel. And first of all, the instruction was meet me at reception. And the guy sent four messages saying I've arrived when I was standing in reception and he was still like walking towards. So it was a little bit annoying, but that was nothing serious. Anyway, I was carrying the box up to the room and I said in a message to Vaughn like, Either this box must have the most amazing insulation or this is the world's coldest pizza because literally the box wasn't even like almost warm. Like I could I could hold it 
and it was fine. Got back to the room, opened it up. The pizza, I'm pretty sure, was frozen. And they had just, like, chucked it in an oven to defrost, but it hasn't defrosted. I'm going to show you. It is actually, like, after a day of sensory overwhelm, this is, I'm busy having a very angry conversation with Uber Eats because they said that they reviewed my order and um, it doesn't warrant a refund, but like they didn't even ask my side. <laughs> All I said was there was temperature control issues because that was the only option that matched my problem. So here we go. First problem, they didn't cut it. So I'm having to tear it like an absolute savage. But then also, Look at that, you can see it's not even warm. Like, it's soggy. Look, what the heck? This is cold, like actually icy to the touch. The basil looks like it went through an oven, potentially, or like at one stage the box was warm, but like this is cold. Look at this cheese. That's not just like cheese that was warm and went cold, like, this is not right. So I'm basically like picking off the crust because that I can't know. So yeah, that's my day. Um, I did also um, pull tracksuit pants on over my tights in the mall like a complete crazy person. <laughs> oh, it must have looked so funny because I was like taking things out of the Primark bag and putting them on. Like someone had just gifted me that bag. Like maybe I was homeless and someone had bought that bag for me. And I was just, like, getting clothes on. In my head, I thought if anyone, like, tells me off, then it kind of looks like my luggage got lost. And, yeah. I'm going to try and pick at this pizza, and then I need to go to bed, because tomorrow... Disney! 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 Also, the only ears I could find in the whole mall wear pet ears <laughs> so I'm gonna wear a pet's Alice band it's funny I can't wait Final day in Paris. You can see how tired I am by how puffy my face is. I've just had a shower. I am going to, let me just set you down. Let's see if I can do this and chat at the same time. I'm going to try and get some packing done. Um, because we were both just so tired after yesterday that we slept in a bit. And so it's like, around 10 now I think. I'm gonna need makeup today. <laughs> Just help my brain get into that like, you're moving girl. But of course Disney was the best as always. I don't think it can disappoint. So we're gonna try to do some touristy activities today. I'll bring you along. I might not talk as much because obviously I'm tired. <laughs> But I will show you everything that I see and I will try to engage every here and there. Oh, do you know what? It actually looks worse in the in the camera than it does in the mirror. My eyes don't look that dark in the mirror. It's I think it's just like the lighting, the down lighting. Alright, see you in a bit.
We're at the top of the Arc de Triomphe. It is very cold, and if you are not great at stairs, <laughs> you might struggle, but the views are so worth it. That is the end of Paris. I am at the airport waiting for my flight to Amsterdam and then I'm staying in a hotel tonight. Thank goodness my body's so tight and I hope you can hear me because I'm talking softly. I don't want to be shouting loudly. Just got some poles to take for dinner tonight. Though I know we'll eat on the plane. It's just like, you know, can't leave Paris without having it. I doubt I'll record on the plane much because they say like in the announcement they say please don't take videos which I think is not the way there so maybe just like a few things of the plane flying but it's noisy here so I'll catch up with you in a bit and looked at the room yet my bag is here at the door I thought that I would walk through and show you at the same time okay so literally here's my bag my paws is still <laughs> sitting on there the oh wow okay a moment for the shower <sighs> that is incredible that is incredible. Okay, you don't care about the toilet. Oh, I am so glad they have a vanity kit because I have this nail that I need to cut so badly. Shaving kit. Let me know if you're one of those people that takes all the things. Look at this. Oh, beautiful. Interesting how they've done the tissues. Kind of freaks me out a little bit. They look a bit used. But it's pretty. Makeup mirror. Also, airport chic. <laughs> Look at this. Let's get some lights going. Oh, there's a cute little bedside reading light. <gasps> the size of the TV. I also have to know what this is. I'm just gonna be quiet. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. It's the connecting rooms thing. Like, I haven't seen this in a hotel in ages, but let's see what's out here. I actually cannot hear the airport at all. If you look at that Christmas tree, I've been trying to get it on camera on my phone and on this camera, but like the arms move like robotically. It's very cool and very freaky at the same time. And then this little area, it is quite like corporate-y in comparison to where we've been staying. That's because the other was a designer. I cut halfway because I accidentally started phoning Vaughn 
and my phone was like around my neck. This is mini fridge, mini bar. It is an empty one. I'm so nosy. I also literally have to open every drawer, every cupboard. Laundry bag, sewing kit. Oh, sliding off the bed. <laughs> Okay, cool. Told you I have to open every drawer. Oh, there's no drawer on that side. Okay, so then I think this concludes the room tour. I've taken my shoes off for the first time since running around earlier today. And my feet feel so like, like they're stuck in that position. But I must say those Primark shoes were very, very comfy. Surprisingly for their first day. Also, um, before I forget, Amsterdam is now on the travel list because the people at the airport so far and the people on the plane have just been so incredibly lovely. Like if you watch my Singapore airport, I'll put the thing here. If you watch the Singapore airport um, vlog, the people were so nice as well. I feel like it's kind of on the, that level, like everyone's just like smiling when they greet you, like amazing, absolutely amazing. I don't know if I can hear someone. I don't know what that was. I don't know if it was someone walking past, if it was um, just like a movie that was on or something, but first plan of action. I'm not touching that bed that I'm going to sleep in until I've had a very long everything shower. I have to be at the airport. Uh, my flight is at 10.20 and I'm literally, I'm at the airport. I just have to cross over. So I just need to check for an international flight to remind myself how much time I need. But I think the smartest thing is probably to get a uh, wake up call. This is so comfy. <laughs> Why did I sit down? What rubbish am I talking to you? I'm sorry, it feels like I started a conversation with a friend and it just carried on and on and on and on and on. Literally like I was FaceTiming someone, but literally I'm FaceTiming myself. Literally, literally, literally. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you later.